Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Johnson and this is my screencast summary and response. According to the article that we read, using blended learning evidence-based research, blended learning occurs anytime a student learns at least part-time at a quote brick and mortar location like a traditional school that we might think of and at least in part through the internet for student control is really paramount for this pedagogy. This gives students control over time, pace, and place in which they learn. When I first watched Professor Vu's lecture at the beginning of the week, which introduced blended learning, I thought it was the same thing as flipped learning. I was really confused. However, after watching the assigned videos, especially blended learning versus technology integration, I began to understand the distinction. So a flipped classroom, as we learned before, is formatted with online lectures assigned as homework and class time is spent doing group activities or practice problems. It's a lot more clear cut. There's a distinction between what is done at home and what is done in the classroom. Blended learning, on the other hand, is more broad and comprehensive. Traditional lectures and homework practices aren't necessarily eliminated or changed. It all depends on student and teacher needs. In fact, a flipped classroom can be considered a form of blended learning. When it comes to education, I'm always thinking about how different methods and pedagogy will affect low SES and minority students. So I think that the addition of technology like iPads or netbooks that we saw in one of the assigned videos for some schools would enable them to gain technological skills that are needed for them to be competitive in the 21st century workplace uh, without needing internet or different technologies at home, which is a big plus. It is also done in a place that's supervised by educators that can help them learn how to navigate the web properly. I also like the fact that blended learning is so broad. It can be tailored to meet the needs of every child and instructor. So teachers don't necessarily have to assign online lectures as homework if that doesn't fit their classroom. They can assign online assignments um, on websites like the Smithsonian Learning Lab that we use this week. And class times can still include lectures, but it doesn't have to be all lecture. It can also include, again, the online activities or lab sessions. Blended learning seems to be the most personalized form of learning that we've addressed, in my opinion.